everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay, and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the clam dress. There is also a top only version of this dress that's in another video. And if you prefer a written pattern for both top and dress, you can purchase them from my pattern shops. All my shop links is in the description box below. As you can see here, I've already done the top part of the dress. I will put the video link for the top on the description box below. Then, before continuing to the skirt, make sure that it can wrap around your torso. If not, continue with the last two row pattern until it does. Also, make sure to end with an odd row. For my size, I made a total of 31 rows. Now, to continue with the skirt, slip stitch on the other corner now for round one begin with chain three flip your work Then skip the first two stitch and double crochet in each of the next stitches until the chain one space. On the chain one space, work a shell stitch. Next, double crochet in each of the next stitches, then skip the last two. And a front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat that for the whole round. To finish the round, slip stitch on the chain 3 at the beginning. For round 2, begin with chain 3, flip your work, and then do the same post and shell pattern from the previous round, except that do a back post double crochet in each post instead of a front post double crochet. Then finish round 2 with a slip stitch on the chain 3 at the beginning. For the next rounds, repeat the last 2 round pattern until the length reaches your waist. For my size, I made only 3 rounds. Then for the next round, we will start our increases for the hips, but before we continue, you must end with an odd round or the round with front post double crochet. Now for the increase round, attach a marker on the two outermost posts. Then begin with chain 3, flip your work and continue with the post and shell pattern until you reach your first marker. Then on the stitch with marker, work a back post double crochet, chain 1 and another back post double crochet on the same stitch. Then 
then continue with the post and shell pattern until you reach your next marker and repeat the same stitch. Then after that, continue again with the post and shell pattern and then finish the round with a slip stitch on the chain 3 at the beginning. So here I just finished the first round with increase and then for the next round begin with chain 3 flip your work and then do the same post and shell pattern until you reach your increase from the previous round. Then here on the increase from the previous round, work a front post double crochet on the first post, a V stitch on the chain 1 space, then another front post double crochet on the next post. After this, continue with the post and shell pattern until you reach the opposite side and do the same V stitch on the increase. Then of course, continue with the post and shell again and then finish the round with a slip stitch on the chain 3 at the beginning of the round. So basically, we are just repeating the post and shell stitch patterns in each round and the only difference is the increases. So for the next clip, I will only be showing the changes on the increases so we don't make this video longer. So here I just finished last round and I'm on the next round on the increase part. Now on the increase part, work a back post double crochet on the first post. Then shell on the chain one space and another back post double crochet on the next post. Repeat this increase on the opposite side. So here again, I'm already done on the last round and I'm on the increase for the next round. For the increase, work a front post double crochet on the first post. Skip the first stitch and double crochet on the next. Shell on the chain 1 space. Double crochet on the next stitch and skip the last. Then another front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat this increase on the opposite side. So I'm on the next round again on the increase part. So here, back post double crochet on the first post. Skip the first stitch and then double crochet in each of the next. Shell on the chain one space. Then double crochet in each of the next stitches, skip the last one and another back post double crochet on the next post. Repeat this increase on the opposite side.
Next round again on the increase part. Front post double crochet on the post. Skip the first stitch and then double crochet in each of the next stitches. Shell on the chain 1 space. Then double crochet in each of the next stitches, skip the last one and another front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat the increase on the opposite side. For the next rounds, repeat this increase pattern until this shell has the same count of double crochets with the other shells. And then after that, add more rounds without increase until you have your desired length. When you're done increasing, it should look like this. For the next rounds, just repeat the post and shell pattern without increase until you reach your desired length. If you want to make it into more ruffled effect skirt, you may do this increase in each post. Once you have your desired length, it should look like this. For the edging and strap, we will make it in two rounds. Though on the written pattern, it is only one round. For this tutorial, we will make it two. So to begin, we will attach our yarn here. And then, chain one and work two single crochets in each stitch. Do that until you reach the neck part. When you get to the neck part, just work a one single crochet in each chain and stitch. After this, continue with the two single crochets in each stitch until you finish first round. So here to finish the first round, slip stitch on your first single crochet. Next round begin with chain and then single crochet in each of the next stitches until you reach the corner for the next strap. For the final edging and strap, you may use the same yarn color but for this tutorial, I will use another yarn. So, after my last slip stitch, I'm going to cut my yarn and attach another one. Thank you. 
So if you change your yarn color, you can attach your yarn anywhere. Then, once you reach this corner, we will make our strap. To make a strap, just chain a chain that is at least 1 meter long or longer for larger sizes and then slip stitch each chain all the way back. Then, continue with the single crochet and repeat the strap on the other corner. And of course, when you're done with your second strap, continue the single crochet until you reach your first single crochet of the final edging, slip stitch, and cut the yarn. Once you're done, it should look like this. And just like that, we are again done with our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like button and the notification bell. And of course, subscribe if you want more free tutorials like this. Thank you for watching!